guys, it's ready. So for this earrings, I'm going to be using some porcelain clay. Feel free to work with polymer clay. It's pretty much the same. I just prefer to work with this one because I get more product and it's easier because I don't have to bake anything. I'm going to be using a baking tool that I'm going to be cleaning after. It's my Wilton's 1M. And I'm going to be rolling this with my roller that has like those two green rings on each like edge. I have a DIY for those if you want to check them out. Those are there just so that I can have the same thickness all throughout my clay. So I'm going to be making two pairs and for my first pair I'm going to be cutting two uh, circles and then I'm going to roll them in between my hands just to make all of them like spheres. And for my other pair that are like the smaller ones I'm going to be cutting one circle then folding that like this in half and then just cutting that uh, with my exacto knife just so that I can have like two shapes from that. For all of them I'm gonna let them dry for a bit because this kind of clay hardens with air but if you're working with polymer clay this is when you do this and then you bake. But I'm gonna be taking a couple of sewing pins, gonna be making a couple of holes in the middle and then I'm gonna let them dry. Then for both my earrings I'm gonna be painting one sphere in black and one sphere in white. I'm going to be using this toothpick to make tiny dots and I'm using this toothpick holder that I do have the DIY. This is just so that I can grab the toothpick easier and it's pretty handy. But I'm going to be adding dots in a polka dot-ish pattern. It's kind of tricky to do this because the shape is like round in flat surfaces. I feel like it's easier to paint a polka dot pattern. But you know, do the best that you can. If you make a mistake, if you misplace one dot, it's not a big deal. It's not really that noticeable. For my smaller ones, I'm going to be using the same toothpick holder, but I'm going to be using this other option on a toothpick that I do have the DIY. I show you how to make bigger dots using a toothpick, and so I'm just going to be using that toothpick to make bigger dots. One is going to be white with black dots, and the other one is going to be black with white dots. Finally, for all my earring charms, I'm going to be adding some gloss. This is uh, by Sculpey, and I'm going to be giving them a couple of coats. This I'm going to be using, this is pretty random, guys, but I had this, like, dog color things, and they came with this, things for their names, but instead of, like, their names, they came with, like, the brand's logo, with, like, this, this kind of, like, metal things that look like big jump rings. So I'm going to be using those for the jump rings. It's pretty easy. I'm just going to be opening them, taking the logo part, and then just using that. I have my big jump rings, ear wires, my glue, I'm using super glue, my charms, my pliers, and two eye pins. And first I'm going to remove my sewing pins and I'm going to glue the eye pins using my super glue, my pliers, and letting them dry. Then I'm going to be taking my big jump rings and placing both my ear wires and my earring charms. And this is it for earrings number one. This is what they look like. They are bigger charms and they are really cute. And now this is it for earrings number two, which is like the same, but the smaller charms with bigger dots. Personally, these are my fave. I just love how they look. They add something really cute to any outfit. And then, just because I wanted to see what both of them look uh, together, I'm going to be opening my jump ring again and then just placing together my white charm with the black dots with my black charm with the white dots and vice versa. I think they look so much fun like this as well, but it's pretty much personal preference. What you like better. I honestly like the three of them each one for uh, different occasions but yeah guys i really hope you like all of them or one of them they are actually pretty easy to make lightweight affordable if you like them don't forget to get this video a thumbs up check out more easy earrings that i have on my shelf and subscribe for more let me know what you think of them and share them thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye